I said what I said. I am bored with this. Speed mother camera. I'm disengaging. I'm not engaging. Hello Burberry True, welcome back. I'm The Real Andy of Burberry Hills and guys, it is time to talk about, guess what? Yep, because there is no better way to start our day without a little of the Erica Jane show, okay? Girl, I mean, this girl, like she doesn't understand the amount of trouble that she is in, honestly. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now if you are new here and you want to join the Burberry Troop. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys. And let's talk about this mess. Girl, Erica Jane, one more time, after the last article where she was accused of you know, spending over $28 million, okay, uh, through AJ Global LLC, now she is being accused of spending over a hundred and thirty thousand dollars leading up to the divorce. Okay, so we're talking those last mon months before the divorce and some months after she filed for divorce. She went crazy with that American Express and she was going like. Purchase, 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 kachin, 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 everywhere. Okay, a hundred and thirty thousand dollars. Okay, it says over here, AJ Global spent over a hundred and thirty thousand dollars on Tom Girardi's credit card in the months leading up to her November 2020 divorce, according to a court document uh, obtained by Radar Online on August 24. A list of purchases has been created as part of a 151 page fil filing per, um, pertaining to the case against Thomas Girardi that includes endless entries proving AJ Global received a ton of money from Girardi and Kissy. Okay, now among the American Express transactions, um, there I mean, there is a bunch, okay? But they were, for example, in January, um, AJ Global used more than $50,000 on the card. And then again, in March, there were thousand more, uh, and this was just two months uh, later, okay? The car has been used to make over 21 different purchase, purchases, uh, all, all of them between one and two, one dollar and two thousand dollars. Okay, like I'm telling you, like this girl know what she was doing. Okay, as soon, I mean, this was like the last, last like thing. They were probably like spending the money all these years, you know taking money from everywhere and when everything was about to come down they were like okay how are we gonna get the last of the money and they were just crazy and just start buying things that's what i think okay this means like th that she went and take that american express and was like let's just buy 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 i don't know maybe things that you can resell after that you can um, convert into cash easily. I have no idea. But anyways, that's the deal. That's the point. Um, am I surprised? Of course I'm not surprised, okay? she. I mean, she was probably just taking, making sure that, I don't know, she was getting all her last minute things before the, 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 the uh, accounts were frozen or I have no idea, honestly. <sighs> I don't know what point Erica thought that she was not gonna get caught ever. I don't know how after all of this, you know, and the fourth, the $28 million that, you know, we saw on the other list the other day, how are people still, still thinking that she is innocent? Now, remember, there are two different things. 
One is if Erica knew or not when the, where the money was coming from. That's the part that it's still being investigated, that there is no actual charges, that it is just, we just have to wait and see, okay? And honestly, we will probably never know. The second part is that the, all the money that she spent from Gerardi and Kisi through AJ Global LLC were loans, okay? So that's not a criminal part, that's not she being innocent and being guilty, no. That's money that she spent on herself, okay? So she has to return this money because that money belongs to Gerardi and Kisi and that money will be great to pay the victim because we are talking over 28 million dollars plus interest okay so that part for everyone who is still confused that part is it is what it is okay erica jane is responsible for everything that happened with aj global now what i'm thinking i'm not sure but i think that the point is that Erica Jane is going to try to prove that she never knew anything that was happening with AJ Global and that maybe she was just signing documents blindly or some shit like that, you know, and try to do a Teresa, you know. That was like the whole thing with Teresa. I don't know. I was just signing papers here and there and then ended up being like fraud or whatever, you know. So, but anyways it's money that she has to pay back and that the, her lawyers are gonna try to find a way for her to not pay this money back okay and literally money that is for the victims girl honestly just sell your things and pay back and you will save a lot of time and a lot of headaches in the future now about the criminal thing, that's the part that only investi for their investigation and when this reach a criminal state, I guess, that's when they will, we are gonna be able to talk uh, about Erica Jane potentially even going to jail. But that part, we have no idea yet because she has not been charged with nothing yet, okay? So we, we will just have to wait and see. Um, I don't know. What do you think, guys? I mean, are you surprised that she was using this money? I bet. I mean, I can only imagine her like going and buying like stupid diamonds or, or or designing clothes, you know, or like whatever bullshit that she decided to buy, you know, just to uh, take cash quickly and make it everything through AJ Global or some bullshit. And then at the, the last moment said like, oh, I didn't do that, I didn't do that. I don't know. This is going to be messy, but I think that Erica Jane has not realized that experts are better than her and they will find the money. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.